Welcome back to another episode of Sip the Talent Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And today we're going to talk about, as you can see in the thumbnail, Lamar Jackson. And I try to stay away from Lamar Jackson because so many people kind of do Lamar Jackson films. Even people that are not Ravens fans, they they pick up Lamar Jackson stuff just to, to get views and clicks and likes and all that. And they're not necessarily Ravens fans. So that's why I try to stay away from it because it's a flooded market of Lamar Jackson film. But with the way he's playing to start the season off, it got to be talked about. And from my point of view, roll the intro. Uh, before we get started, I want to take care of a few housekeeping things. Uh, if this is your first time here, please hit that like button if you like the content. If you want to see more of it, subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified when they come out. I also want to salute to these people that um, have contributed to the channel via membership or Patreon. I want to say thank you to you guys, and let's uh, get into the film. Now, uh, we'll start with the Jets game. Lamar has 10 touchdowns on the season in the first three games. Um, complete, Completely balling. There's no other way to say it. And we all know that the different catches like this one is to do And I, I don't know if he's – what I have seen is he's been able to – check at the line i don't know if he's changing the play or changing the protection but he's doing something at the line that benefits to give him more time or to change the the play it could be protection it could be the play and see likely relaying the information you can't put that ball in a better spot you can't put that ball in a better spot and for Duvernay to go get it like that, that's big for him. Now, I would say he's checking protection simply because you got a two surface side here and you potentially got a three, a three surface side. I don't know if he's changing it to, because it's empty. So in empty sets, most, most empty sets are big on big. Uh, 5-0, five, five for, your 5 for their 5 normally. And if it is 5-0, you got that, 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 that and that. If it is 5 0, let's see. Are right, they moved? Did he change that thing? See, they moved. And so now, you you know, it's a little confusion. So maybe, so now maybe they sliding this way. I think he's changing protection. He did. He did. So you got four sliding left. You got four, four sliding right. The one on one on his right side. So he changed protection. Pocket closing in on him. Don't panic. Step into the ball. Get it out. Boom. Right there. Right, right, right where it needs to be. Right where it needs to be. 2000, what, what's this, 2018, Lamar couldn't do this. Or 19, whichever was the first year. He's progressed so much as a passer, so much. This is the mesh play, where Andrew's sitting over the middle and doing they posting right behind him. And just throw it away from the safety. Let's see what we can see from his point of view. Let's just watch the nuance of him in the pocket. He's determined to prove that he's a pocket passer, which I don't mind at all. And he runs when he has to. Linda Bum fighting with Quentin Williams. Got a lot of all this cross. This, you're going to have a triangle that you're reading in the middle of the field. You got a triangle you're reading in the middle of the field. So Prochet is looking at the linebacker. And the rules for a mesh is if you're running across and this guy is chasing the guy that's crossing you, it's probably man and you should keep going. But in Prochet's vision, he can see this linebacker sitting here, so he's going to come across and kind of stop. Uh, DeMarcus doesn't see anybody chasing. I think that's DeMarcus, whoever this is, chasing Prochet, so he should just come on through too. But it's still part of the triangle because Lamar's vision is right here in the middle. Now, if all that spreads out, and you got Mandrew sitting right in the middle of this, the top of this triangle. You see Prochet sit. You see Bateman still going. You see, I think you can see Mark's feet at the top settling up. Now, look at the pocket, though. The left tackle is kind of losing. That's a Macari. 
He doesn't panic. He doesn't panic because, look, he could take off and run that. There's nobody there. He could, but he keeps his eyes downfield while this is on his back. He never peeks over there to see what's going on. He just steps up. And Powers gets a little chip to help him out. He's looking at, at uh, Andrews. Uh, you can see Jordan's feet here. Jordan jumps Andrews, and he throws the post right over his head where Jordan used to be. Jordan was over here. When Andrews came, he jumped that, and you see he's on Andrews now thinking the ball's going to Andrews. So he just got to throw it away from this safety. Great eye discipline, great pocket control, just, just overall great play. That's third TD of the game. And this is what Lamar loves to do. He loves going over top. Loves it. I don't know what kind of coverage the Jets were in, like they blew something. There's only a two receiver out. We max pro in it. We max pro in it. They're dropping one, two, three, four, five, six. They're dropping six. No, one, two, three, four. They're dropping seven. They're dropping seven, and we max pro it with, with a little, little leak out right here. I don't know if it was a post or what, but Bateman just ran scot free. Untouched. The whole time. Untouched the whole time. Got a little play action. And I don't even think the play action even held the linebackers. Did the linebackers even step up? Let's see if these guys stepped up on the play action. Not really. Not really. Half roll. I don't know what coverage they were in, but look at this throw. He didn't have to jump. Money. Money. There's, there's no, the linebackers didn't bite on this at all. <laughs> One step. Now he rolled out right, but going to throw back left. It's called a half roll. He launched that thing, boy. Right on the money. That's the third touchdown for this game. Let's go to the next game versus the Dolphins. When we started off great, ended up like crap. What a throw. Now, what I will say is, even though this, this pass was right where it needed to be, this route cannot go untalked about, no matter how many times I do it. This route cannot go untalked about. Watch the footwork of Bateman. Square him up. Got Howard to turn his hips. Going to press him a little more. And watch him stick that foot and spin him around. Mm. Oh, got him. Watch the placement of the ball. Mm. Right where it needed to be. Hands catch. Nah, it's a foot race now. Nah. At this point, it's a foot race. And he won it. The route was great. The, the placement of the ball was... Immaculate. Right in stride. Your timing was per. I mean, you, you can't do it any better than this. On one simple play. Look at that placement. Look at the placement. Let me go back a frame. In stride. You can't throw a ball any better than that. As you can't. You can't. He's gotten so much better at, at his accuracy and footwork and, and driving the ball. And You're going to have to pay the man. Hashtag pay the man. Hashtag pay eight. Put that in the comment section. Hashtag pay eight. If you're still here so far, put it in the comment section. Hashtag pay eight. Let's go to the next one versus the Dolphins. And he got three versus the Jets, three versus the Dolphins. All right, this is Mark had just got a long play and they caught him down at the one. And so they had been, you know, stuffing us up the middle. We get, gave him a little play action. And everybody that ran a route was open. <laughs> open, open, open. <laughs> but he decided to give it to Mark because Mark should have had the touchdown play before. <laughs> that was easy. I ain't, I ain't, no need to dwell on that one. We'll just we'll go to the next one. Did they, did they play action? Yeah, that play action. But everybody was open. <laughs> they uh they on Madden they they click run middle. 
that click Ron Miller. All right, next one. I don't remember this this touchdown. I think this is to, to Demarcus. Yeah, this is to Demarcus. Now I don't know if this ball was to Bateman or to Demarcus, but Bateman sure did attempt to get it. But the, look at the window though. Watch the window when we see it from the back view. Good protection so far. The, the line's holding up. Good job, a line. Good job right here with uh, Zeitler. Good job. We get we getting help with Tyler Linderbaum, so we, that's what's needed. Oh my goodness, that ball was not for baby. I thought it was, but it's not. Look at the anticipation. Robinson not even in the in the in the screen. Robinson not even in the screen. On the money. Look at the window. On the money. To know where this guy gonna be at. And Robinson ain't been that long. He ain't been that long at all. That's great anticipation. Great ball placement. Again, look at the accuracy. Look at the accuracy. O over this, whatever that was, trying to go on. Right to where it needs to be. Low, low and inside so he don't run into a shot from that person, but away from him so he can't get to it. Notice the accuracy. We're going to keep using these buzzwords because they're warranted in this situation. He's gotten that much more accurate with his ball placement. His mechanics have gotten better. His uh, his release has gotten better. Decision making has gotten better. I love this. I love this. Give you a little story. Like since I've been here in Florida, no team has gotten my full playbook. This was one of the plays in my playbook. But the reason being is because um, here you have a, you know it's a big city. Well, big city to me. You have multiple middle schools, and they all feed different different high schools. So back at home, we had one high school and one middle school. So they ran our base stuff, and they could come to the to the varsity level knowing the base offense. And this shovel pass was one of our you know things we had in there, even if we did it out of two backs. I think the closest I've gotten to giving an entire team my playbook here is when uh, Jimbo Fisher son was my QB. That job was smart, man. Well, he is smart. His football IQ is higher than any high school kid I ever seen. He can be a great coach one day. But again, back to the shovel pass. The thing with the shovel pass is, is if whoever the edge guy is, and I think is wise, if he widens at all with Lamar going going this way, you just dump it off, and your your um Andrews will have a puller coming with him too. So it's like power. It's like a it's like power. You see Zyla starting to pull. Zyla pulling for the linebacker. But why is widen for Lamar? So now he knows automatic pitch. Zyla should kick out number 30. There it is. 30, 30 widens too. So Zyla did a great job of turning up and not chasing. There's no need for me to turn up and chase because my guy ain't going out there. That's high football IQ from this guy right here. He don't get enough credit for his football IQ. Zyla. He don't get no credit. But the, but Lamar's running ability created that too because everybody's scared of him running the ball. This is a great decision. I ain't going to say it's a great throw, but this is a great decision to know your personnel. We all know we got the best tight end in the game. Yeah, I said it. I'm going to stand on it. Versus this cat. Um, I don't know if this is McCourtney or not. McCourty or not. Not sure. But we know he got the best tight end in the game. He know he got a blitz coming. Free release right in his face. Let me get it up so my guy can beat your guy. My guy's better than your guy. That's what he did. That's what he's saying. And in this case, our guy's better than your guy in most cases. In most cases. Good job of drifting because they got a free release up there. They brought six. We can only block five. They brought one, two, three, four. Five, six. That little pause from number 30 allowed us to get this touchdown. And so just coming straight through, he paused and kind of whatever that is, that allowed us to get this touchdown. And you see Mark over here. My guy better than your guy. On your head. On your head, 32. 
on your head. What he should have did was this. Uh, when Mark caught that, he should have hit him with a little sprinkle on him. That's what he should have did. Go line. Too easy. Too easy. But it looks simple, but it's a lot more complex too. Oliver was, was probably about to get smashed. But Lamar threw the ball low and away from him to turn so he could turn his back to keep him from getting hurt or getting smashed. Alright, see this guy coming in right here? If he if Lamar leads him there, there's gonna be a massive collision. The ball probably gonna come out. What Lamar does is throw it at this shoulder and low, which now he has to adjust and catch it so he doesn't get KO'd by the guy coming in. Look at that, look at that placement. Look at the ball placement. With Judon on it. I ain't noticed that. With Judon already on it. Who missed the tackle? Justice Hill missed a block, I think. Oh, no. Nah. Judon unblocked. Great placement of the ball. So now he has to turn his back to this big lick that's coming. Great ball placement. Great ball. I'm telling you accuracy, and I keep saying accuracy, but, you know, y'all probably should have played the shot game. Every time I say accuracy, take a shot. But y'all be messed up by now. But it's that's what it is. His accuracy has gotten that much better. And it's another jump ball to DuVernay, and it's still amazing that I keep saying jump ball to DuVernay because he 5'2". I'm joking. But running these slot fades from DuVernay from – this tight helps out because DuVernay is so fast and he got a lot of room to run. Because Lamar's trying to throw it in his back corner. And I know you couldn't see it on the video earlier but my because my face was down there. That's why my face not on this one. Lamar's throwing it to this back corner. It's DuVernay's job to get there. At least that's what I teach the guys. Throw it to that back pylon and it's the receiver's job to get there. He got there, made the catch again. The, the, I said this earlier. When DuVernay catches this ball, what, he turns his body away from the defender. So he can't knock it out. Great ball placement. Again, accuracy. Accuracy is the theme of this 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 tape. His accuracy has turned up. His decision making has turned up. His um, mechanics have turned. Now that wasn't great mechanically, but it still got the ball where it needs to be because he got people around his feet. That wasn't. That was like a push throw. But he got somebody around his feet, and he trying not to step into it so he won't get his knees or anything hurt. So I understand. Completely. But he got it out there. Duvernay catches it. And I know it's kind of fuzzy. Turns his back to him. You see his numbers. You can start to see his numbers here. Get his feet in. Toe drag swag. Touchdown. So again, the, the, the theme of this is accuracy. His accuracy has improved 200-fold. His footwork has improved. His confidence has improved. And his confidence is probably higher than, has improved more than his accuracy. But I love him. Love him. Love him. Glad to have him as our quarterback. Hopefully, hopefully continue to have him as our quarterback. And, again, if you've made it this far in the video, hashtag pay eight. And um, I appreciate you guys for staying through because I know it's going to be a ton of fair weather, not fair weather, but click clickers trying to get Lamar Film out there for their channels that not really Ravens fans. And um, But we are. The Flock Nation is here. And, um. That's all I got, man. I appreciate you guys for coming through. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Got a late night film session up. It'll be up sometime tomorrow. And um, peace, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you to all the people that contrib contributed to the channel. These people. And everybody that sends. Um, oh, I got to shout out one more person. Hold on. Got to shout out uh, Shug. Shug tipped me on one of the live streams, and I didn't see the message. But I can see the message here. It says um, LBH. T crew in the house here for the great football talk from all our favorite people. And that was from the uh, round table for Monday. So I wanted to make sure I got Shugs out there because I couldn't see his message the other day. Now I'm out. Peace.